Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. This month for me, in terms of production, has been pretty up and down. And I know if you're creative, you experience this as well. Some days you wake up and you feel like you can do no wrong. Everything you're making is fantastic. You feel like you're the best creative on the planet. No one can touch you. And you're just loving every single thing that you put down into your DAW. And then there's some days... That it doesn't matter what note you put down, it sounds out of key. No matter how hard you turn up the kick, it still doesn't punch. And no matter how much you EQ, things still sound muddy and harsh. And for the end of January, start of February, I've sort of had this where things I was making, it just wasn't hitting. It wasn't where I wanted to be. And basically I'm making this video to like show that while I make all these videos and most of the stuff I think I post on this channel, is good music and a lot of the times producers online and people online for that matter they just post all the highlights obviously this is a well spoken about topic and very rarely that they speak about things that they're not happy with or they show things that aren't of the highest quality and today i'm going to do that a little bit i'm going to show sort of my lower points in terms of production things that i wasn't happy with why i wasn't really happy with them and that basically like we all go through it you know there are days where you don't like what you're making and there's some days where you do and if you're going through a point where i was and you're kind of like nah nothing i'm making i like and if i don't like anything i'm making how is anyone else going to maybe i should just give up maybe i should just do something else or just stick in there give it another week another couple of days and eventually inspiration will come Things will fall into place and you'll start making better music again. It's an interesting thing and something I've always been fascinated with. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you a few of the projects that I made earlier this month that I wasn't too happy with and probably will never see the light of day. Now, as a f as a, a, for, a, a forward or a pre-word, this is all relative. If you're a beginner or haven't been making music for very long, these beats might sound, you know, pretty good to you. Or if you're an expert, like most people are, it seems, on the internet, these might sound like garbage. And I'm going to lean towards kind of agreeing on these first couple of beats. So the first one here, I've named it Kind of Cool Bounce. And look, none of these are necessarily terrible, but I'm going to play you the beat or the loop in this case. Most of the time, if I'm making something, I don't like it. But there are some aspects that I do like. I'll just leave the loop. I'll save it. I'll put it in an unfinished folder and uh, see... At a later point down the track, if I'm feeling inspired and I don't want to cook up from scratch, I just come into these unfinished project files and I try and salvage something. So this is what this one sounds like. So it's not terrible, but... I think the melody sounds a little bit too detuned, if that makes sense. It sort of sounds out of key, and I think the drums are a little bit sporadic. They're not very cohesive, and that's something I've been trying to work on. Just getting a solid rhythm, something that you can bounce your head to, something that's catchy, and to have unique 808s, because I feel like just having the regular 808 bounces in every single beat you ever hear on a trap beat, I want to do something a little bit different, and... In this beat, I kind of went a little bit too far, kind of did a little bit too much, but sometimes you need to push the needle to know when to pull back. So this is a good example of trying to do too much, trying to force things when the, found, the first idea, the foundational idea just wasn't quite good enough, in my opinion. In future, I might stem this out, pick some parts that I like, like the second half, the second four bars of this loop. I do like the bounce in sections with the kick and the 808 sort of bouncing between each other. But yeah, for the most part, I don't think this is something that uh, I loved all that much. Something else I try and do when I'm in a bit of a beat block and I'm not really feeling interested is I try and branch out and try some different genres. Try something different, something that I don't usually make. And for these next two sort of loops that I've made, um, you can see that this one I've titled it Lo-Fi-ish Reggae because, you know, I've really just gone kind of weird on this one. This is quite simple. There's only five instruments. We've got a lab... Sp I'll just play the loop so you can hear what it is. And then I'll speak on it a little bit more. So 
So I quite like the chords and that might be something that I use in a future beat, but the entire loop doesn't really stand on its own feet for me. I did try using a different kick sound than I usually do. This one sounds like it's actually from a drum kit, more of a real sound when you compare it to a trap kick, for instance, is very dry. This one has a lot of higher frequencies and it's kind of something that I wanted to experiment with. I feel like there's two kind of themes that are slightly, ever so slightly different that don't quite mesh together perfectly. And I think that's why I sort of just uh, moved on from this idea. But all in all, it's not terrible. It just isn't hitting, if you know what I mean. And if you make music, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This last one I'm gonna move on to, this one's probably when I started to trend up woods again uh this is kind of an r&b kind of b it's still kind of trap ish but it has but it doesn't really have the hard hitting 808s that a generic trap beat would have Now you see I tried to really over process the melody just to try uh, some sound design. Really push the needle as I've mentioned before. The drums aren't perfect but they're not bad either. The second half where the kick sort of hits on the one is a little bit, feels a little bit weird for me and I think the BPM is slightly too high but apart from that like I think, which is quite funny because you know I finally made something that I actually like. But you know it just goes to show that if you stick to it, if you make something you'll eventually get back to something that you actually can vibe with. And this is, this is one of those beats. I think the melodic theme in this one is much better and so it was much easier to build drums off of that if you have a great melody and a great loop you can pretty much throw any simple drums on there and you have an instant vibe i did mention before that i don't want to have like generic normal 808 bounce but some beats just call for it like there are beats where you can go a little bit crazy with the drums and there's some beats where you lay off a little bit and this is one of those things i think i nailed the vibe pretty well here and this is where i started gain confidence and i feel like confidence is so important when you're making music anything creative if your confidence is high i feel like you're gonna generate ideas roll with ideas and stick with good ideas more often and make better decisions in general so this one's called insanity i think sort of going back to my bread and butter if you will dark trap kind of diss track type beats i really like the dark ominous reverse bell sounds in this beat when I did this, I was like, this is the one, this is the one. The drums are a little bit, they're not incredible, but like I said, I think they support the melody and the theme. I've kept it very simple. And I think that's something that helps as well. If you're really struggling, try and branch out, go back to your roots, keep it simple, play to your strengths, and eventually things will start to go your way again. So yeah, this one's insanity and it sounds like this. Again, drums are simple. I'm trying to do a little bit with the 808. The rolls are quite normal and what you would expect in a trap beat like this. I do like doing these pitched these pitched triplet rolls. I think they're kind of becoming part of my signature sound. I feel a little bit cringe saying that, but I do, I do like that sound. And also I kind of switched it up in the end here. I've got a bunch of slide 808 notes. I think they sound pretty far in context. And then this next beat, uh, I made this one today. 
And the one thing that I'm really, really enjoying recently is making drill beats. Drill beats are super fun. I used to shy away from them because I didn't really understand how to make them. And trying something new is setting yourself up for failure. But if you don't fail, you don't grow and you don't get better. So I did stay on my comfort zone for a long time, but eventually I made one drill beat and then I made another drill beat a little while after that. And then slowly I made more and more drill beats when I realized and I slowly learned and I listened to more drill music and I sort of used drill samples and watch people make drill beats. So I eventually like created my own stepping stones into making this type of a genre. Often I find I get demotivated if I jump straight into it and fall flat on my face when I have no idea what I'm doing. So most of the time what I do is I research, sort of subconsciously, watch other people do it, sort of do it in little bite sized chunk chunks, like maybe for one beat I'll do like a drill hi-hat bounce and then one beat I'll do like a, a snare drill bounce and then one beat I might try a drill 808. And because all these things are separated out, as long as it's surrounded by other things I'm good at, like dark loops and other simple trap drums, then I'm slowly going to build up these skills and I'm also going to feel like it still sounds good at the same time. I hope that makes sense. So eventually, little by little, I built up the confidence to make full drill beats like this one here. I think this one sounds fire. Super proud and, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards coming a drill producer, but I mean, why not do both? I think that goes hard. I'm just saying. So I hope this video helped a little bit. If you like me are going through a little bit of a creative rough patch and you need a little bit of inspiration to keep going, hopefully I provided that to you um, in the way of this video. If you're struggling, keep it simple. Try and branch out, maybe try a few new genres. I've always say done dubstep in the past, so if you want me to go back and uh, show you my best attempt at that, I think I've still got the FLP, I'll have to find it, but <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Also, play to your strengths and don't be too hard on yourself. Time will pass, the rut will pass, and you'll start making better stuff again. But that's going to be it. I appreciate you all for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Hit the bell notification to be notified next time I post a video. And yeah, as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and I love you.